I mean, this kid is spectacular. He is still undefeated, Jerron. I'm gonna be the last man standing in the uh, Western Division. I think he a threat to anybody based on his unorthodox style. I think the champions and the people in the Dewey division um, don't really take him serious. I think it's just all about the woo. Javante a great fighter. He fighting 130 pounds. <laughs> and they realize it's going to be about the boom. This rising force has bulldozed through the welterweight division in a spectacular fashion, knocking out 26 opponents out of 28 fights. And Serrano in trouble again. His legs are not getting it done, and he is down. I'm Jerron Boots in this, and I'm here to take over the welterweight division. Let's go. He's ready. A young lion with a heart tailored for the championships and conceals abilities that pose a threat to the top competitors of the division. When you got somebody who is just so intuitive in the ring, so intelligent in the ring, and then got the speed and the quickness, the agility, the power, clearly. Ennis has been so dominant against the level of competition he's faced. You just couldn't wait for him to fight somebody at a higher level to see how good he would be. Speed kills, and in the case of Ennis, it has led to plenty of knockout victories. He has cobra-like reflexes and similarities of a young Roy Jones Jr. and how Jones was able to create opportunities because of his hand speed. Introducing Roy Jones Jr. He also has the ability to switch from orthodox to southpaw throughout 12 rounds, which makes it hard for his opponents to prepare for a fight. Along with that, Ennis has big punching power and will give plenty of welterweights a ton of problems for years to come. It bothers me when the guards get to acting like the bras. And the fight has been stopped! That's why I see no need to compete with niggas like y'all. I just ask that when you see me, you speak up, nigga, that's Within all. Within the next year or two, Boots Ennis is probably going to be a champion, perhaps with multiple belts, and I think the road to get there has been starting for a long time, but this is the next chapter in it. I'm the highest in the IBF, so, or uh, I think, I think yeah, I'm the highest in the IBF. Well, I should be the highest in the IBF, so that's the route we're going to go and we take. So, but whatever presents itself first, though, it don't matter. How do you see a fight with Earl Smith going? Me doing what I've always been doing, but, you know, taking it to a different level, being smarter, you know, uh, not looking for a knockout, let, 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 let things come to me, you know, putting on a beautiful show, you know. And, and, you know, finish the night, the night, with a knockout. They don't want to prepare for nobody like me. I'm well-rounded in everything I do. I southpaw, right-handed, whatever, box, bang. They don't want to prepare Ladies for Ladies and gentlemen, here is the hard-hitting rising star of the welterweight division and the undefeated world rank contender, introducing Jerron. After just five years as a professional, already Ennis has put the game on notice and won praise from all corners, including boxing royalty. He's going to throw a sequence of punches and accurately land them. You, you get hit by Ennis, and then you're going to get hit a bunch of times more. He's a tremendous combination But success puncher. in the fight game is nothing new for the Philadelphia nicknamed Boots, having watched brothers Derek and Farr campaign as pros. Oh, he sends him back right there. So there is no threat the widespread hype and plot that's coming his way will become overwhelming. We're forgetting about we, we uh, boost the we get boost Ennis. Ron yeah. Hell of a fighter. We don't talk about him. I'm I'm willing to fight anybody right now, mm -hmm. and they they know that. Uh, I, like I said before, I'm trying to bring the old school way back. I'm trying to fight Eric. all the best fighters. Fight the best fighters. When the up and comers fight the up and coming. I'm with it all. Boots Ennis is definitely next up, and is now the IBF mandatory for Errol Spence.
While the Spence and Crawford fight has been stalled, the welterweight division has been cooking up some new potential champions for the two rulers of the division Crawford and Spence. Many fans are now in doubt if Spence is really the best in the division, because of the lack in his performance since the tragic car crash. Sometimes marinating the fight for too long can go against you and this is what we're starting to see in boxing lately. Right now I'm just on a whole different level. My mindset on a whole different level. I'm too hungry right now. I'm hungry. Uh, and I, you know, I'm, I'm coming to take whatever they, whatever they, they, they throw on the table. And that, that belt will go on the table. So I'm coming to take it. And that's what you gotta do when you fight the champ. You gotta go take that belt. And he's actually more powerful than he is as a righty. Ennis is even better from the left-handed stance. And Abner, the that right hook from Ennis, impressive as well. Really impressive, and like you mentioned, I mean to keep... From the top of the throne of a historic division, filled with legends and profound talented fighters, the ruler is still in the midst in search for the glory from the fans. One man so destructive, and displays talents of a dangerous all-round switch hitting powerhouse that can knock out with both hands has been mourning the division of his presence. I'm just a whole different animal. When you're young and hungry, that's dangerous. And when, and when you... You uh, you love what you're doing. It's hard to be somebody like that. Just know I'm coming, and I'm coming for all those belts and those top contenders. And I'm ready to take it on and and show the world this, the rest of this talent. Now y'all really gonna see the real me. Possessing monstrous power and able to channel knockout power through both hands is incredible. But Jaron Ennis has plenty more tricks up his sleeve. He is defensively skilled, inheriting the American defense style of Floyd Mayweather type defensive stance. Offensively he is an oppressive force, he can come forward well and throw combinations accurately. Also Jaron is very good all around as a fighter which makes him a great world champion prospect. In the first round knockouts, he is seeking the 11th and Delorme sitting on his punches, he wants to go out. I'm in my pinnacle, you are pussy identical, you like the fucking finish line, we can't wait to run into you. Once again, thanks for watching Boxing Stars. Please like, share, subscribe and hit the bell button for notification of our latest episodes as we deliver the latest. Unboxing.